Hey everyone, today we're going to be designing enchanted forest scenes and you're going to need a large piece of paper and a pencil. I am going to be doing my designs in ultra fine sharpie so that you can see what I'm drawing. I strongly recommend doing your design in pencil first and then outlining it with a sharpie. I'd like to start by looking at a few different pieces of artwork. Um, this one's really neat because it's got a lot of different mushrooms and patterns and plants. And also notice how they didn't fill in the background all the way. They just did kind of a soft green yellowish light color for the background, which looks really lovely. This is one of my favorites. I love the texture on the tree, the hanging moss. Notice the little lanterns with the light and the door on the tree, little steps going down, very beautiful details. This image has so many beautiful plants in it and also butterflies. Notice how there's, they're kind of more tropical, but they've got a lot of different color on them. There's some hanging vines with flowers and butterflies. Also, notice the background. Instead of filling everything in with plants, there's this background with soft green, very light green and light blue color. This is one of my favorite tree faces. Here's another beautiful depiction of trees with faces. I love the different details in this picture. Notice the ladder and the different types of mushrooms growing out of this log and the window and the doorway. Consider adding some adorable forest creatures to your enchanted forest scene. These are also really simple animal drawings. So cute. And we'll just look at this one last image to get some more ideas for different animals we might add to our drawing. I'm gonna start by drawing several large trees. This one's got branch coming off of it. stop. I'm going to draw some moss hanging from my trees. I'm going to add a bird's nest and I'm going to add a face to my tree. Some fungus can be growing out the side of my tree and ferns. Maybe there's a mysterious pair of eyes hiding in the shadows. So I like to leave a little white spot in the middle of the eye to make it look like a reflection. Add a butterfly right here. I add another tree over here. Roger, Ryan. Roots at the bottom of my tree. And another face. Some wrinkles. And a gentle smile. I'm going to add um, a butterfly flying around. It could be a squirrel climbing my tree. I like to put a raccoon sitting on the ground at the bottom. I thought it'd be fun to do flowers with faces. <laughs> Those are kind of cute, aren't they? I'm gonna do a fern here. I'm gonna draw a little turtle. Let's see. Okay, over here, I'm gonna do another tree. This one's also gonna have some moss hanging off of it and a little lantern, a little acorn shaped lantern. Now you're gonna wanna make sure to do a halo around the lantern. Light 
emanating. I have a couple mushrooms growing on my tree. Some more mushrooms down here growing like a stack of pancakes. This long root system, little fairy door hiding here, and a stairwell. Thought it'd be fun to have a, a frog down here with a crown. Gonna add some more mushrooms. Oh yeah, I was gonna do a couple birds right here. Another bird's nest. Just gonna add another face over here. Smaller mushrooms over here. Can do some more ferns over here. I couldn't resist adding a baby deer here. So I've designed this tree to be kind of like a, a weeping willow tree. So I, I've got these branches hanging down like vines. Okay. I'm gonna add a couple of vines. As you can see, I've added some more texture to the bark of my tree, some different squiggly lines. And then I've also added some flowers. So I would color in your trees using a variety of different brown and green colors or regular colored pencils. Since these are watercolor pencils, I'm going over with a wet brush. Again, only do this if you're using watercolor pencils. So I'm doing bright yellow orbs around my lanterns. Add a little bit of white in there too. And then around that yellow halo, I'm gonna do some kind of softer, lighter green. I'm also doing some little magical fairies in the background just by doing these little orbs of light. I can do white in the center. I'm doing a mixture of different greens and yellows and browns for my forest floor. See I'm coloring in my vines here. As you can see I'm coloring in my turkey tail style mushrooms with orange and yellow. As you can see, I've colored in my raccoon and my flower people. I've also colored in my frog and my baby deer. Now I'm ready to paint my background. So I'm taking some green watercolor in my lid and I'm gonna add a little bit of black to it. Now I'm gonna water it down Add a bunch of water to it. And I'm gonna use this color in my background. Just added a little bit more black and I'm gonna have it fade and get a lot lighter. I'm just gonna spruce this up a little bit on the bottom here. I'm gonna leave some of it really light. This is totally optional, but if you have some white acrylic paint, you can do little tiny white dots around your lanterns and they'll look like fireflies. Ta-da!